Hi everyone, it's Cress, aka Lady Taka, and it is time for a new subscription box. Now I told you before that I uh, subscribed to a bunch of a few new boxes over Black Friday holiday weekend because they had some good deals. So the first one to arrive is, well, the second. I guess I already got one, all right. right. Collector's case. This is the first nerdy themed one to make it. Um, and this I basically got the shipping free because it was a $10 off coupon, but then shipping ended up being $10. So it was essentially shipping free. And this one's theme was kind of sci-fi, and that's why I did it because they said Doctor Who. We all know I'm a Whovian. They said Star Wars. We all know I own a bunch of that. And Star Trek, which I own a few things of that. Not as much as Star Wars, but a few. So, and this is bigger than most loot crates that I get, so this is exciting. And all I did was kind of open it. And it is literally, the first thing is Star Wars Soft and Cuddly Throw. Oh, it does feel cuddly. Mm. Oh, yeah, and my hair did get chopped off today, so. Uh, my nice dramatic angle cut. Ooh, that feels really soft. So I guess this is the pattern on it. Kylo Ren and Stormtroopers. Oh, that feels really soft. Really cold right now because this was waiting for me outside. And fun to play with. It looks like it's something emoji theme throw in kind of thing. I, I'm going to guess it turns into something. I'm not going to try and put it together right now. <laughs> it certainly wasn't part of the Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who theme. Alright, so I got a Titans figure. Let's hope I didn't get the 10th Doctor again. Because I already have a, a Titans 10th Doctor figure. So, odds are good it'll be the 10th Doctor. Because I already have that one. But, we'll see. It says I could get the 1st Doctor, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. They don't seem to have the 12th Doctor in this series. So, it's probably a, an older Titan. cut it open and I told you I'd get the 10th Doctor with the sonic screwdriver which is the one I have I have a slightly larger version though I have like a double this size version so this will get gifted to another Whovian I know one of them so and that is the risk when you buy blind boxes that you will get one you already have Again, I'm not so crazy a collector that I need this figure in two different, si every size it comes from. Oh, Frozen. I swear they said Star Wars, Star Trek, and Doctor Who. That's an interesting throw-in. I mean, it's season appropriate, I'll give you that. And I certainly don't have any of them. So it looks like I got Kristoff, mm. frankly he's not an option but I'd rather have had Sven, but it's not like I don't already own Sven, so I can go set him next to Sven in Dad's Christmas Village now. It might even be proportional. And it looks like we got two of those. Well, let's pray we didn't repeat the figure. We didn't. We got Elsa. They're just cute little figures. Though Elsa does look taller than Kristoff. Alright, so I mean, so far. I paid 25 for this box. It would have been 35 normally the shipping. This is our big Star Trek item. Ooh, we got a Fina Prime expansion, Attack Wing. Expand and upgrade your Star Trek Attack Wing game. Well, I don't have an Attack Wing game. The Vidians are a race afflicted by a disease known as the Phage, which destroys their organs. At the cost of their own mortality, they use their advanced medical technologies to harvest other species' organs to replace their own. The Fina Prime is a Validian battle cruiser. 
These huge ships utilize hypothermic charges and grapplers, which can stop a ship to allow a boarding party to enter the held ship in their never-ending search for organs to harvest. Game contents. 15 cards, 20 tokens, 1 maneuver dial, 1 painted plastic ship with base and pegs. Well, I don't have that game, but that is an interesting Star Trek item. It's not something everyone would have in their collection either, so I like that. Sorry about the glare. And then I got a Boba Fett Stormtrooper. That's kind of funny. Uh, it looks like a Stormtrooper to me, but it's got Boba Fett's face mask. So it's Boba Fett in white. Okay, back actually shows a nice image. I don't want to take him out of the package right now, but that's cool. This is the 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive by Funko. And it's Wobbler. And then we got another figure. Yay! I got BB-8. I'm all happy. He's coming out of the package. He'll go immediately on display. I did not have BB-8 yet. <laughs> I have R2. I have I have C-3PO in this line. Um, I have a giant R2-D2, which actually plays cassettes. It's like original 80s. I have a Yoda. I love how you need a specialized hole to hold him on his stand. But, okay, apparently you don't like me. You'd think his face would go forward on his stand. There we go. So I got BB-8. So that's cool. I like, I like robots. So we'll just take him out right away. So, I mean, I think there's like one more small little item in the case, but we got this uh, random thing in here, which I'm not even going to try to open up. It's just an emoji thing. And we got two Frozen figures, a Doctor Who figure, which unfortunately I already had, um, a Star Trek plane thing, a Wacky Wobbler, and a BB-8 figure. Not bad for 25 actually. And this is the December collector's case. Oh, and I got Doctor Who trading cards. So, the first item to them was the Doctor Who trading cards. So let's open that and see what I got. Well, we have Bill. Again, sorry for any glare. Jenny. Doctor's Daughter, the Sixth Doctor, oh we got something signed, first I'll put Susan Foreman up, and then we got a signed authentic autograph of Tom Goodman Hill as Arnold Golightly, I believe this is from the uh, Agatha Christie episode, where he ends up being an alien of some sort. So that's cool. I guess that's my autograph for the month. I did not get a lucky case, apparently. If I had been lucky, I could have gotten a signed uh, print from Star Trek. Oh my god, why am I blinking? Ugh. Oh well. So, but I did not pay the extra 15 to get a guaranteed one. So I am fine with that. So you could have gotten either a Stormtrooper, a Porg, which would have been cute too, one of those new creatures, or Ray as your option with BB-8. Um, you could have also scored um, one of two other options for the ships, and that ship actually, the Klingon Destroyer, I actually have as a Christmas tree ornament. So... That's cool, and the exclusive 2017 Boba Fett. I, I don't even have any Boba Fett stuff, so that's pretty cool. I think, I think I might have a pin that looks like Boba Fett. So overall, really cool. I guess your uh, frozen things are meant to be stocking stuffers, and this emoji thing that I'm not even going to open were meant to be stocking stuffers. But 
I'm just gonna put my uh Kristoff and her by my uh Sven reindeer that I already own. In my dad's Christmas village, it'll just add a little different cheer to it. So I don't know if I'm going to renew this for next month or not. It'll depend on what the themes end up being. But I thought I had pretty good odds with Doctor Who, Star Wars, and Star Trek. Um, so I do like that they do this whole, like, mystery thing. Um, apparently, the next two cases, your hints are January featuring Anthony Mackie, who is from Captain America. He's Falcon. And February, there's going to feature a Stranger Things item. And my cat really doesn't like me shutting the door during videos because he's now pounding his body against the door. He'll be really happy when his box gets here. Uh, he's getting a cat box this week sometime. All right. Well, thank you for watching. See you later.